This HAN Network video is brought to you by A Better View Window Cleaning Plus. From West Hill High School, this is the HAN Network's 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour. I'm Frank Granito, and I am joined by the captains and coach of the Vikings field hockey team. They are Paige Sotisanti, Samantha Repegno, Lauren Lazo, and Coach Kevin D'Angelo. Coach, I'll start with you. You've got three exceptional girls up here. We were talking off the air. What was it about this group that led to them being elected captain? Um, well, you know, it's their work all throughout the year. It's not just during the season. They've been such a hardworking group as far as conditioning in the preseason, holding captain's practices, getting the girls together, camps, clinics, the whole nine yards. Uh, they, they go the extra mile all the time through and through. So, Lauren, you guys are finishing up preseason right now, getting ready for the school year to start, get on that regular practice schedule. What was the off season and camp like this year for the field hockey team? Um, the off season in camp was amazing. We had so many girls who came to the camp, like way more than we've ever had in previous years to work together and bond as a team, especially with all the new freshmen. And um, the conditioning and captain's practices this summer was awesome too. We had so many girls show up and it was a really good turnout every time. Samantha, you guys will bring back a lot of players from last year's roster. As the captains of a more veteran team, what do you see your roles being this year? Our roles is being um, more of motivation because everyone is on top of what we're supposed to be doing. And it'll just give us um, a good impression of the young freshmen who are like, that's what, who should we be like? That's, that's someone that, you know, a good role model should follow. So. Paige, you guys were only two years removed from a huge upset against Darianne. There's a lot of experience on this roster. How do you use that to your advantage and move forward with it this season? Um, I think we have a lot of skill on the team, more than we've ever had, and our problem in the past has been not really clicking, but this year I think we already have a go get em attitude, and as we work together, we're going to really click and make that happen. What are some of the things you guys will do off the field that are really going to help this group click and become more close? Definitely give us every, like everyone is going to compliment each other and, you know, tell us that, you know, even just as good or as bad as we are, we're a team. And, you know, if you try your best, and that's all we need, that's all we ask for is to, like, try your best. Lauren, if you guys are going to accomplish what you wanted this year, how is that going to happen on the field? Um, just really working together. The girls on the varsity team have been playing together for almost in our entire high school career, and I think this is definitely going to be our year. We're going to come back, and we're going to push through really hard and make a really huge difference from last year's season. Coach, if you think there's something about this team that sets them apart from the teams of the past and makes them a special group, what would that be? Um, just their, their level of bonding. There's no drama. There's no arguing with each other. You know, when a captain sets forth or a coach sets forth the task, they just go to it. And, there's, and they know what the goal is. They know where they want to be, and it just kind of goes. It flows. If there was one game on the calendar you girls are most excited for this year, what do you think that one's going to be? Well, I see Stanford High, but then again, Darien is something that I have to focus on because that's the, the level of improvement we're going to focus on. Um, I think Norwalk, uh, had a, we had a score that game that we were not proud of, and it wasn't because of skill, it was because of the work we put in. And this year we're definitely going to come out strong in that game, first game of the season. How about you, Lauren? I would definitely say Stamford High or Norwalk, because with the Norwalk game, unfortunately, we had a pretty bad score, but we're determined to come back strong and to show them what we're made of. Well, Coach, it seems like they're pretty motivated and ready to get after it this season. We want to thank all of you for coming and taking time out of preseason to meet with us, and we look forward to seeing you on the field this year. We wish you the best of luck this fall. Thank you. Make sure you stay tuned for the entire 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour right here on the HN Network.